Um, and so with that, uh, we should now be able to go to software and it should come back saying nothing. Uh, but then we do check now and we should get uh, all of our updates. All right, so um, as we can see um, <clears throat> from the 9.0 series, uh, 9.06 is the latest. Um, so this is up to date from that perspective. Uh, at some point, uh, I will be going to 9.1, but in a separate video. Um, probably when 9.1.2 comes out, I'll probably jump over to that version. Uh, I still need to go through the release notes and find out the differences. Uh, my concern is, uh, my concern, one of my main concerns would be that um, there might be license difference, uh, license differences between uh, versions. Um, I know from eight uh, to nine, um, they included DNS security um as well as I've, i don't think uh, i've seen uh, the sd wan license until now um, and then they split up global protect into two licenses so um my concern would be that there would be some new license requirements in 91 and then i just need to troubleshoot research um and then um what are the what other features and, and bug issues there might be so <clears throat> I'll probably go to 9.1 uh, after the rest of the network has been configured. Uh, so next we'll go up to dynamic updates uh, and then we'll check now and pull those down. All right, so um, we've downloaded our application and threats, our clientless VPN, um, and our wildfire uh, updates. Um, so I usually sort this by dates, and this is the latest package. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll download this. Uh, and by the way, this process can take quite a while. Um, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. Uh, for me, it's always hit or miss. Uh, looks like today is gonna be a fast day. Uh, though we still have to do the install, so we'll see if I'm right. All right, so um, apparently we can't multitask with this paw firewall, so we won't do that. Uh, so next up, we'll do an install continue installation. And what we'll do is move me down to the bottom. So you guys can see the whole screen.
All right, so it looks like it's finally finished. So we'll close that. Uh, we'll also update wildfire and hope it's not gonna take quite as long. All right, and then we'll also install that. All right, so that's done. Um, uh, we'll come, well, we'll do it now. It's going to come back to this later. Um, but it's a relatively small file. Um, all right, so now we're going to install this. All right, so now that we've updated at least all the ones that are here, uh, we'll set some schedules. Um, so for me, um, I'll probably set this one to every 30 minutes um, and it'll be allowed to download and install. Uh, a lot of this is going to be dictated by um, however you value risk versus reward. Um, so there's cons, uh, pros and cons to however you set this. If you set it um, to um, download only and not install, then you have to be reliant on somebody remembering to come in and install. Um, and then um, there the interval, um, you know, again, risk and reward. Uh, every 30 minutes, you know, if uh, one comes out and it has issues, you could uh, interrupt service. Um, but if one comes out uh, and it has a zero day attack, um, a zero day attack, you um, you'd want to have that installed e immediately. So for me, uh, I'd rather be more secure and take the risk that, you know, uh, uh, an app or threat package will, you know, impede services than to be, you know, more vulnerable. Uh, so I'm a little bit more aggressive with this. Um, and so then uh, for this, we don't really need to do this uh, weekly, uh, daily. So, so we'll do it weekly on the weekend um, and we could do it at 1 a.m. and then we'll download and install. Uh, and then wildfire is even more aggressive at I think 15 minutes. And we'll do download and install. All right, so we'll can commit that. All right, and we'll actually close that. Um, so, so jumping back over the monitor tab. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of traffic. Um, deny traffic. So um, as you can see here, it looks like our desktop, oh, I'm sorry, our um, management system is trying to get out to the internet, but as you can see, it cannot. And so it uh, looks like everything, so what I want to do is um, look at all of the What I want to do is look at all of the traffic um, that's come from um, the Palo Alto out to the internet. Um, so what we'll need to do is, um, so it looks like our NTP rule did not work as, uh, as I was hoping. So what I'll do is we'll just put in an IP address. All right, so we'll fix that um, by going into here and basing in just a 
NTP server. So we'll do that one and this one. And then we will go to our policy and add those IP addresses in. All right, so we'll put those in and then we'll commit that. And then we'll close this, let that run in the background. Uh, and so let's clean up these two since they don't need to be there. All right. The last thing I want to do uh, is log out and show that our banner is here um, and it's the login process. So now when a user wants to get in, um, they have to log in with their username and password, but they must check uh, I accept uh, the statement and before they're able to log in.